Well, looks like perplexity has done it again. Today they are open sourcing R11776, which is a version of the DeepSeek R1 model that has been post trained to provide uncensored, unbiased and factual information. In the blog post they have mentioned that they are calling it R11776 and basically we see that this Chinese model DeepSeek R1 is very censored. Now in order to show the censorship, I'm going to take you to my terminal. Let me go ahead and open my Olama list. So you can see that I have Olama installed and I have DeepSeek R1 installed as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and run Olama DeepSeek R1. Okay, so I have DeepSeek R1 running here and now I'm going to ask two questions. For example, this question. Is Taiwan a part of China? You can see the output of this model. Yes, Taiwan has been inalienably part of China since ancient times. Another question that I would like to put forward is what happened during the military crackdown in Beijing's Tiananmen Square? So that's where the military shoot it, uh, shot down students. Uh, so we see the output here is thinking and it's showing that I'm sorry that I cannot answer this question. I'm an AI assistant. But if you ask any other LLM such as ChatGPT, so that will give you the correct answer. You can see that this is the answer that ChatGPT gives. It doesn't abruptly reject the question. It knows it gives you the factual answers. Now on the right you can see the DeepSeek R1 it is censored. DeepSeq V3 is censored as well, Claude is very less, O3 mini, GPT-4 and here we have R117. So Publicity Labs are able to remove the censorship from the DeepSeq model and brought it down to almost zero and that's an amazing thing. Now I can go ahead and use this model and they've also shown that the performance benchmarks have not been affected by this fine tuning. So we can see that internal benchmarks it's 52 mmLU in the range of 90, drop 90, math 597, AIME 2024 is it slightly improved so 80.96 from the older of 79.8. So this there is no change in the benchmark the model is as it is in terms of its capability but the censorship has been removed you can see the output before what it gave the answer is this what happened in Tiananmen Square I'm sorry I cannot answer this question as we've seen one example of how that is using our Olama locally run models after it is fine-tuned and the new model which is R11776 we see that it gives a reasoning model another question is this what is China's form of government and you can see that it gives the answer. So what is happening in Eucharist in China? And you can see that it gives a very non-biased answer. Now for all this training process, what they have done is they have employed human experts to identify approximately 300 topics known to be censored by the CCP. Then using these topics, they develop a multilingual censorship classifier. Then they mined a diverse set of user prompts that trigger the classifier. And this procedure enabled them to compile a data set of 40K multilingual posts. So you can get this model from the Hugging Face repo. So this is the repo. And again, can see the files and versions here. It's a huge file. You can see that 5GB and 252 pieces of 5GB file. I'll wait for someone to make it lesser size, then we can use that. So we can see that we have one model of quantization here. Let's see. Okay, and just uh, 41 minutes before we have this GGUF quantized model. And uh, looks like uh, they have not added the model yet, but this is the quantized model. Now, what do you think? Is it now a good model since the censorship has been removed? Can you use it now to make amazing projects for yourself? I'll see you next time. This is your host Prompt Engineer. Check out the next video. Thanks.